Hey everyone, welcome back. So this next video for you, I'm actually just gonna share with you my collection of the bathing garden because I do have a pretty large winter order coming from her or an order coming from her winter collection. And then earlier this week, um, so today is Sunday, the 21st of November, um, at the beginning of the week, I placed another kind of small order from her for some Halloween fall scent, some leftovers that one, actually because I found out she had faded opulence posted. Um, and so I had to get a couple clams and there were a couple other scents that I was like, ooh, I need to get those. So I placed a second smaller order. Um, I don't know if those are gonna end up shipping together because the winter collection order that I placed was back at the beginning of November. Um, so we'll see which, if they ship together, great. If they ship separate, that's fine too. But because I have both of those coming, I do want to make a little bit more room in the container that I hold my bathing garden. Cause I do have, um, several clams that like most of the small clams that I have are all pretty old. So let me show you kind of what I have. So I have this container and that's everything. I'm going to just run through the scents. I'm not going to like sniff them all or review them or anything. I may just make comments on some of my favorites or whatever, but I just kind of want to share them with you. And then my plan is to kind of focus on melting these this week. Now I'm still going to melt other wax, especially because I do have so far some trouble getting all of her wax to throw in my like open concept kind of living room area. So some of the scents, if they seem lighter on cold, I probably won't put them in my living room. So I'll probably melt other stuff in like my living room area. But these I will focus on in like my office and then my bedroom, either at night or during the day. I have a lot of lavender and a lot of peppermint scents in here and then a handful of other things. So, all right, I'll go ahead and share with you. Um, this first one, I have a full clam in Widow's Walk, which this is grapefruit, olives, watercress, violet, clove, and cedar wood. You can see this is from 2017. A lot of mine are from 2017. This is a Splendid Christmas, which is cinnamon cloves, apples, oak, and balsam. This is actually from last Christmas, so 2020. Um, my Snowman's Pipe. I melt, I've only melted a couple of this one, and this is mint, cool breezes, sweet berries, and pipe tobacco. And that's from 2020 as well. Gardenia Coconut Cream. Um, this, she's actually, I think Shannon is the, Shannon's the owner. I think she's the first one that came out with this, with Gardenia Coconut Cream blend that I really um, liked. So, before, because she had it before Kirby started her business. Summer Twilight, which I just talked about it in my Should You Melt This video, but I have another whole clam of that one. This is Sweet Maddie. This is vanilla, strawberries, violet, and jasmine. And I have three cubes left. This is the Naughty List. Um, this is a peppermint, clove, apple, light, citrus. I don't know when I got this one. It's not dated. Hmm, it smells minty. So yeah, anyhow, that might be... I think the ones that aren't dated, I might have gotten either 2018 or... 20, no, maybe 2019. I don't know. This is the cloud maze and I have four pieces left in that one this is secret Santa and this is from last year and it's a whole clam this is dark wild berries strawberries and champagne um, a haunting hauntingly hauntingly Dickens tale and this is winter fruit cold air and pine cinnamon and clove this is from December 2020 and it's a full clam Christmas Woods. This is cranberry, eucalyptus, clove, garland, and bergamot, and this is from December of last year. Alice in Lavenderland, which is French lavender, vanilla extract, and marshmallow. I only have two cubes left, so I'll need to put those in my warmers. Maybe I'll do that one tonight. Uh, pink Fizz, which is strawberry, mimosa, pink sugar, vanilla, cotton candy. I only have two pieces left. I have two full clamshells. Yeah, I think, I thought I had another one, no, okay. Two full clamshells of tea with mango and mint. 
This is Brood White Tea Leaves Mint and Ripe Mango. The color is very pretty. I have just two chunks or two, keep calling them chunks, cubes of Mad Hatter's Tea Party. This is white tea and Moroccan mint. I'm hoping you guys can see these okay because it is kind of dark. This is salted lavender, which is lavender, sea salt, softwoods, white musk, and vanilla. I have four cubes. I have Sleepy 2.0, which Sleepy is her pink sugar, peppermint, and vanilla. And so Sleepy 2.0 is blue sugar, peppermint, and vanilla. So I have four, four cubes of that one. I have lavender vanilla custard, which is lavender vanilla bean custard and marshmallow and caramel. I have a full clamshell. I have Calypso. I love this scent. This is part of her Take Me to the Sea collection. This is sea salt, vetiver, driftwood, jasmine, and coconut. It's just, it's a beautiful scent. I think I had like four or five clams of this. This is all I have left. It's just two little cubes. So I'm assuming when it get we get to either spring or summer this in 2022, she'll probably do her Take Me to the Sea collection again. I will definitely stock up on this and hopefully she'll release this in one of her big clams. This is a Queen's Decree, which is clove, peppermint, oops, nutmeg, and cream. I only have two cubes left. Oh, here's another Mad Hatter's Tea Party. And yeah, so look, I have four in one and two in the other. Oops. <laughs> sea of Tears. This is fresh air, sea salt, ocean mist, and aquatic floral. I think this is part of her Take Me to the Sea collection. Um, it's a nice pretty scent, but I have a full clam in that one. Peppermint whipped cream. And this is iced peppermint, marshmallow, vanilla, and whipped cream. A full clam. Pineapple Pixie, which is pineapple upside down cake, yuzu, mango, and frosted cupcakes. I have just two cubes left of that. Salted Peppermint, which is literally just sea salt and peppermint. I have four cubes. Storybook Mint, which is peppermint candies, milk cake, cotton candy, spearmint with hints of apple. I have a full clam. Salt water, which is clean lime, citrus, and sea salt blend, four cubes. Beach bum. This so this actually says sand, sea, fresh air, jasmine, and mandarin, but to me it actually smells kind of like copper tone. Kind of has like a copper tone type scent to it, like copper tone um tanning lotion or sunblock or whatever. Lavender Moraine Mint. This is Lavender Moraine, Minty Marshmallow, and Sugar. I have only two cubes. So I have a lot of these that just have two cubes. So I can I should be able to get through quite a few this week. This is Iced Peppermint Cordial. This is Sweet Peppermint Starlight Mint, which so I'm not sure what that is. Marshmallow Liqueur. I only have three, three cubes. Festive Forest. This is Snow, Bark, Balsam, Mints, Woodland Moss, and Anise. And I have a full clam. This is actually from December last year. This is Chasing Time, which is Peppermint, Black Tea, Clove, and Spearmint. She did a whole, you can see I have a lot of peppermint because she did a, and a lot of salty scents. She did an opening, I think this was 2019, where she had a lot of peppermint blends and then like the kind of salty blends but I'm just I get a shadow sorry because there's light behind my camera so but her wax is just so pretty that's why I definitely prefer filming in the morning when I can use natural light so this one is fireside Christmas this is spruce candy cane and bonfire this is from December last year a full clam this is breathe deeply this is like um Vicks Vapor Rub, which is, well, it smells like that to me. The scent notes on this is eucalyptus, menthol, and green mint. But it smells like Vicks, so it smells good. Fizzing, la fizzing? Yeah, fizzing Lavender Soda, which is effervescent nectar, French lavender, plum blossom, and citrus. I have a full clam of that. Lemon cheesecake. So even though I commented just in my should you melt this video about me not liking cheesecake, 
This is one of my exceptions. She has a fantastic lemon cheesecake. So it's just cheesecake and tart lemon. It smells really good. Peppermint marshmallow fluff. This is sugared marshmallows, peppermint, and white vanilla. A full clam. Oh, one little cube of tea with mango and mint. Yeah. Salted coconut. Oh, I don't have, I couldn't find her scent description for this one. It wasn't on her website, but I have a full clam. The salt bunny, coconut water, lime juice, and lemongrass. It's a cute little bunny in that one. Okay, so that's my small clams from her. Then I have a few big ones. So circus bread. Um, I have the big old clam. This is one of my favorite scents from her. Look how pretty. My God, it smells so good. So this, the scent description is yeasty fruit cake, fresh strawberry and vanilla. To me, this smells like a fresh strawberry with like a creamy zucchini it doesn't like fruitcake i don't get like a fruitcake note and it's not yeasty it is beautiful oh my god this is so amazing the first time i melted this i was like what is this amazingness and then so i melted through the whole clam and then i was keeping an eye on her openings and she had this available and so i was like i got one big one and i think it was the only one I think she only had one left. So I grabbed this plus like a couple small clams. So I finished the couple small clams and so I have this left. Such an amazing scent. Like if you love strawberry, this is like a nice, sweet, kind of authentic or realistic strawberry with like a creamy kind of zucchini bread vibe. Not, I don't know about the whole yeasty fruit cake thing, but it smells so good. Um, so I think of like, I, Emily from M's Crafty something. I can't remember the name of her channel. I feel like she would love this one because I know she loves L3's strawberry zucchini bread. I think she would love this one. So if you watch this, Emily, you should keep an eye on that scent from the baby garden and it always throws really strong for me. So I have a, a big clam and carnival junkie. You can say I've melted some of it. This is blue raspberry snow cone, raspberry lemonade, and strawberry cotton candy. This is a pretty one because it's layered. Let's see if, can you see the layered? It's a blue and then a dark pink and a light pink. Yeah, this smells really good. So I have that. This is sugared, van sugared vanilla waffle cone. So, and this is cookie wafers, vanilla ice cream, vanilla bean, and marshmallow. So I have a nice big clam of that. Oh, one of my other favorite scents from her, Vintage Circus. This is blue cotton candy and crisp candy apples. It's, I think it's a winter candy apple from ba the Bath and Body Works type because it has that, you know how winter candy apple, it just has that wintry, like prettyness to it. That's what I smell. I smell winter candy apple. So it's winter candy apple with blue cotton candy. I love it. And you can see the two-tone. This is one I will always repurchase for sure. And then I have two, but one's almost gone, in Elf Sweat. Elf Sweat is candy, candy canes, candy corn, syrup, and soda. Elf Sweat is just like a pretty, it's like an effervescent sweet candy scent. Oh my gosh, I love this scent. If you haven't tried this when I first got into wax, this was a really popular scent and a lot of vendors carried it. I have not seen this with any vendors in a long time. So I got this in December last year, both of these. So when I saw that um, Shannon had it, I like got two of them because I love this scent so much. So you can see I've melted almost through the whole one big clam. So that's everything I have for the bathing garden. I'm hoping I can really get through a good portion of this just to make some room for the new stuff that's going to come in. Um, if you have, you know, if you have any questions about the bathing garden, definitely post those below. If you have not tried buying from her, I definitely recommend you do. Her stuff is amazing. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.